Hi guys, this is the end of a previous episode where I left it hanging a little bit. So we need to tidy stuff up. We're just over on the northern road on the train line. We spotted some fruit at the bottom of these trees and we're a little bit suspicious as to what's going off. I don't think somebody's up here. Could be us. More fruit. Doors open. Are you shooting? No, no, no. I shot him. I think I've got him down. Unconscious. He's dead. Whoo! Gonna go clear this house. The flashing. House is clear. Drive with the car. Did you finish him off or did I kill him? You got him. He was prone in the bottom of that bush. I heard the shots, he missed every one of them. Epoxy he putty got, there. He has got all the car bits. Yeah. I'm going to need the epoxy putty. I'm going to need the auto injectors. He's got a... And the suppressors. He's got a whole bunch of everything. Take his duct tape. We shouldn't both be on this, I'm going to move away. So we loot the body, get all we need. I take a morphine injector to give me some speed and we run away to a safe area and look over what we've got. Like he was he was getting ready to go. Um, he, had, he had enough stuff for cars and he was he had a gas mask and some filters and things like that. Yeah, he'd probably just been looting all of the Via Petrovka industrial, getting the stuff together for a car. More than likely. That car. Yeah. But you said it. You said it, it was okay, but it didn't have anything on it. Yeah, it didn't have a battery or a radiator or. And he was spark carrying plug. a battery, radiator, and spark plug. Okay. So yes, yeah, so that was him then. And the car in question, we'd actually run past about a kilometre further back on the train line. It's got the repair kit. It's got the to repair kit on it. So. None of the bits in it, but it's got the blowtorch. So we could have gone back and used all the bits he was harvesting to run a car, but we don't tend to do that very often. Now back to where I'm looking over the gun that I got off him, the VSS. My god, I'm lucky. His gun jammed. Oh, did it? Yep. That is lucky. Do you need a sharpening stone at all? I don't have one. So yeah, very fortunate. The gun had jammed and uh, that stopped him firing at me, which was just about right, because I was about done. Um, yeah, I think we was going to get that car going, but he never made it there because he was laying prone in that bush and completely missed every shot on me. Managed to get this character back up and running with a combination of Toby's good food and cooking and general safe play, you know, keeping our, keeping our heads down. We ended the evening over near Starry, watching the, the looking, checking out this convoy. Went and looted it, got a few bits. Now, unfortunately, this server had a wipe about a few, like a week after this happened, and we didn't get any more play on the characters. So that's where that story ends. However, I've got a couple of other little ones I'm going to bring you. First up, we've got over on the experimental build. I'm just starting a character out, and we're moving into Cherno. Hey, what? Make sure this guy's dead. Yeah, he's dead, all right. I gotta get rid of all these bloody zombies. 
All right, pain. Let's try this sneaky little trick up these stairs. I'll probably get some hits, but... Wait until they're up. Well, they're not up. Okay, we're going to have to jump, improvise, and get out. It's got a spark plug. And of course, I mentioned a spark plug there, because the experimental build has actually brought boats into the equation for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but the first time that the developers have actually brought them in, not modded. And if I'm being completely honest, they're a bit of a mess, but, you know, still, some, something to get your teeth into. Uh, they, take, they take a hell of a lot of fuel, and, and, and will travel a long way once you've got that fuel in. Get used to this feature, though. You can push the boat, and you will be pushing the boat a lot, because it gets stuck quite easily. Uh, getting in's a bit funky. It's throwing me all over the place here. Um, yeah, I had some very strange experiences with the boat, but, you know, you can you can work them. You have to get into this very corner, very specific position to sit in to be able to pilot the boat. And then, of course, once you get it started up, it's set to reverse, so watch out for that, otherwise you'll be back on the land again. So you can just use the same controls you would use in a car, Q and E, and send it forwards and backwards. Or, or set it to for, uh, front, front or reverse, I suppose. It's two, two gears. Once it gets going, it's alright, a bit noisy, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it feels alright, it, it handles like a boat, you, you sort of don't get an immediate response, as you wouldn't, I suppose, if you're, if you're, you're a pilot of a boat and you know this, I don't know, feels about right anyway, but yeah, that's the boat, oh, and you can shoot from the boat, but just be a bit careful when you go to a, get out of the seat, because this can happen. You can get back in just by pressing V, that'll vault you back in and then immediately put you on your front for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, like I say, if you happen to be standing in the boat and someone is, is piloted it and, and yeah, you, you can shoot from this position. But I think if you're moving too fast, you'll probably get ejected into the sky and you'll never be seen again. So that's the boat, comes in uh, four different colour variants I believe. If you're going to be going down these narrow little riverways, make sure you don't get too near the rocks. It managed this one quite well, but um, yeah, the, the hitbox on these rocks is quite big, so it will bounce you around a bit, and uh, it's probably best for the sea, the, this little this little craft. Now, from here, we're going to switch back to stable version, and we're overwatching Zelenogorsk. Oh, we've got players. Very strange there's none at this house here, and none along the front. Oh, there's one. I might just go down there. They could be in this tree line here, though. Which is always a danger, but we'll see. guy just there look it's gonna look up and try and shoot me I think he might not see me I think he's unconscious. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. How many chances do you want? Well, that guy should have been dead. I don't know why the first shot missed. I just do not know. He didn't have a clue where he was being shot from, did he? Otherwise, he wouldn't have come down this ladder. The shot on the ladder was pretty poor. But if I'd have gone loud with that last shot, then he knows I'm up here and I can't stay up here. 
I probably shouldn't stay up here anyway. Because he's going to be looking. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no doubt in that that guy should be dead. I should have made a headshot on the on the shot when he was stood still. The first shot I took, I don't know why it missed, but I was I was probably off a little bit. And then the others, yeah, the one on the ladder. I didn't predict his movement at all. I just shot him, and then he moved. I thought the camo might be one place he goes to. But the dude could just clear out of here. That's the building that he was on top of and also another spot he could go to. But I do have a sneaking suspicion this guy's cleared out. What are you opening my door for? <laughs> Holy shit! How's his plate carrier pristine? Where did I shoot him? Was this the guy? It was actually a completely different guy dressed in totally different clothing and different backpack and everything, so it wasn't the dude that from from on top of the roof that I knocked unconscious. Now, you might have seen in a Daisy short that I released the other day the power of point firing and I'm playing on a PvP server here so I'm just going to show you it in case you didn't see it this is a about a hundred meter shot with an SKS using a red dot on the screen I mean and point firing that? just just unbelievable and then I'm going to do your compilation the compilation of a single life using point firing and a red dot on the screen um, I've, I've cut it down a little bit, but it's just a single life on a deathmatch server.